explain what stagflation means. Welcome, hey there, John. Yeah, it seems to be the word that is on everybody's tongue right now, but a lot of people don't actually understand what it is. So let's really get into it because economists are warning that stagflation is, in fact, a strong possibility and one that we should be keeping an eye on. So in a healthy economy, you see things relatively in balance, inflation on one side, economic growth, unemployment on the other side. What we're seeing right now, however, is that the scales are a little bit out of whack with inflation really outpacing uh, our, our economic growth and, and most people's uh, salaries. And that's why we're feeling the pinch in our pocket. So there's a couple of things that the government is trying to do about that, namely those big interest rate increases. But whenever we see the government start to put their thumbs on these scales, it runs the risk of shocking the system. And that can cause slower economic growth. It could put us into a recession. We're already seeing so many ways in which the economy seems to be struggling. And whether or not unemployment and economic contraction follows pace with, with those, those pressures from the federal government, that's when we potentially run the risk of stagflation. Stagflation is that one-two punch where we have high inflation and we also have the economy suffering increased uh, unemployment and everybody having a difficult time not only buying things because it's more expensive to buy them, but because they also maybe don't have the financial security that they once did. We last saw this really in the 1970s. That's when people are most familiar with stagflation. There's a lot of things, though, that are beneficial to us right now, and, and part of which is that we don't have the same reliance on foreign oil that we used to, to have, and also that our government has more tools, potentially, uh, that they're trying to leverage right now to keep us from hitting that same sort of stagflation that we saw, really, in the 1970s. Uh, that is certainly a possibility. In, in some ways, it feels like people are listening to <laughs> fortune tellers trying to predict the future. And in some ways, that's, that's what economists are trying to do. Uh, what we see right now, though, in terms of our economy, and, and just in case you need a reminder, recession is usually defined by economists as two quarters of negative, uh, negative economic growth. Right now, we have str uh, a strong unemployment rate and we have a strong consumer spending rate. Right now, those things are positive attributes for our economy. However, it's all possible that, that the government is intervening too late. There's a lot of economists that think that. And so a recession might, in fact, be in our horizon. And then if we also still have that inflation, then we're looking at, at stagflation. But if you'll permit me one more analogy, uh, John, the, the U.S. economy is kind of like a giant cruise ship, and we can already tell that the weather has changed. We are in choppy seas, and we can see that stagflation iceberg ahead. As you say, it is not a foregone conclusion that we're going to hit it, but really those aren't the conditions that you want to be cruising That's in. right, and the passengers are all seasick. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you so much.